What is the pollutant standard index? The U. S. Environmental Protection Agency and the South Coast Air Quality Management District of El Monte. California, devised the pollutant standard index to monitor concentrations of pollutants in the air and inform the public concerning related health effects. The scale measures the amount of pollution in parts per million, and has been in use nationwide since 1978. Is it possible to compare the energy efficiency of different brands of appliances? In 1980, the Federal Trade Commission's appliance labeling rule became effective. It requires energy guide labels be placed on all new refrigerators, freezers, water heaters, dishwashers, clothes washers, room air conditioners, heat pumps, furnaces, and boilers. The bright yellow labels with black lettering identify energy consumption and operating cost for each of the various household appliances. Energy guide labels show the estimated yearly electricity consumption to operate the product along with a scale of comparison among similar products. The comparison scale shows the least and most energy used by comparable models. What are the upper and lower shells of a turtle called? The turtle, order testudinas uses its shell as a protective device. The upper shell is called the dorsal carapace and the lower shell is called the ventral plastron. The shell sections are referred to as the scutes. The carapace and the plastron are joined at the sides. Do fingernails and toenails grow at the same rate? Fingernails tend to grow a little faster than toenails. What is a fiddlehead and how are they used in cooking? The type of fern typically grown as a house plant is of the diploid, or sporophyte, generation. It is composed of a rhizome, an underground stem that occurs horizontally, which produces roots and leaves called fronds. As each young frond first emerges from the ground, it is tightly coiled and resembles the top of a violin, hence the name fiddlehead. Fiddleheads have a chewy texture and a flavor that is a cross between asparagus, green beans, and okra. They may be cooked by steaming, simmering, or sautéing, and they are typically served as a side dish. The young fern shoots may also be served raw in salads. How can the entire genome fit into the nucleus of a cell?
the average nucleus has a diameter of less than 5 micrometers. And the DNA, eukaryotic, has a length of 1 to 2 micrometers. In order to fit DNA into a nucleus, DNA and proteins are tightly packed to form threads called chromatin. These threads are so thick that they actually become visible with a light microscope. How does jet lag affect one's body? The physiological and mental stress encountered by airplane travelers. When crossing four or more time zones is commonly called jet lag. Patterns of hunger, sleep, and elimination, along with alertness. Memory, and normal judgment, may all be affected. More than 100 biological functions that fluctuate during the 24-hour cycle. Circadian rhythm, can become desynchronized. Most people's bodies adjust at a rate of about one hour per day. Thus after four time zone changes, the body will require about four days to return to its usual. Rhythms. Flying eastward is often more difficult than flying westward, which adds hours to the day. Why is Archaeopteryx important? Archaeopteryx is the first known bird. It had true feathers that provided insulation and allowed this animal to form scoops with its wings for catching prey. How long is a lightning stroke? The visible length of the streak of lightning depends on the terrain and can vary greatly. In mountainous areas where clouds are low, the flash can be as short as 300 yards, 273 meters. Whereas in flat terrain, where clouds are high, the bolt can measure as long as 4 miles, 6.5 kilometers. The usual length is about 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers. But streaks of lightning up to 20 miles, 32 kilometers, have been recorded. The stroke channel is very narrow perhaps as little as half an inch. 1.27 centimeters. It is surrounded by a corona envelope or a glowing discharge. That can be as wide as 10 to 20 feet, 3 to 6 meters, in diameter. The speed of lightning can vary from 100 to 1000 miles, 161 to 1610 kilometers. Per second for the downward leader track, the return stroke is 87,000 miles. 140,070 kilometers per second, almost half the speed of light. When did the concept of square root originate? A square root of a number is a number that, when multiplied by itself, equals the given number. For instance, the square root of 25 is 5, 5x5 5 5 equals 25.
the concept of the square root has been in existence for many thousands of years. Exactly how it was discovered is not known. But several different methods of exacting square roots were used by early mathematicians. Babylonian clay tablets from 1900 to 1600 BCE contain the squares and cubes of integers. 1 through 30. The early Egyptians used square roots around 1700 BCE, and during the Greek classical period. 600 to 300 BCE, better arithmetic methods improved square root operations. In the 16th century, French mathematician René Descartes 1596 to 1650, was the first to use the square root symbol, called the radical sign, backslash slash dash dash. What are the alkaline earth metals? These are beryllium, B, element 4, magnesium, Mg, element 12, calcium, Ca, element 20. Strontium, senior, element 38, barium, Ba, element 56, and radium, Ra, element 88. The alkaline earth metals are also called group 2 elements. Like the alkali metals, they are never found as free elements in nature and are moderately reactive metals. Harder and less volatile than the alkali metals, these elements all burn in air. Which plants have been used to create dyes? Natural materials, including many plants, were the source of all dyes until the late 19th century. Blue dye was historically rare and was obtained from the indigo plant, Indigo ferra tincturea. Another color difficult to obtain for dye was red. The matter plant, Rubia tinctorum was an excellent source of red dye and was used for the famous red coats of the British Army. Native Americans painted their faces and dyed their clothes red with the root of the bloodroot wildflower, which is also called redroot, Indian paint, and tetawort. Bloodroot, Sanguinaria canadensis, found in shady, damp, and woodsy soils. Blooms in May and has white flowers that are 2 inches, 5 centimeters, wide. What is evolution? Although it was originally defined in the 19th century as descent with modification. Evolution is currently described as the change in frequency of genetic traits. Also known as the allelic frequency, within populations over time. Why was Stewart successful? Like previous investigators, he supplied the cultured cells with sugars, minerals, and vitamins. In addition, he also added a new ingredient, coconut milk. Coconut milk contains among other things, 
a substance that induces cell division. Subsequent research identified this material as cytokinins. A group of plant hormones, growth regulators, that stimulate cell division. Once the cultured cells began dividing, they were transplanted on agar media. Where they formed roots and shoots and developed into plants. What is a Leiden jar? A Leiden jar, the earliest form of capacitor, is a device for storing an electrical charge. First described in 1745 by E. George Van Kleist, c. 1700-1748. It was also used by Peter van Muschenbroek, 1692-1761, a professor of physics at the University of Leiden. The device came to be known as a Leiden jar and was the first device that could store large amounts of electric charge. The jars contained an inner wire electrode in contact with water, mercury, or wire. The outer electrode was a human hand holding the jar. An improved version coated the jar inside and outside with separate metal foils with. The inner foil connected to a conducting rod and terminated in a conducting sphere. This eliminated the need for the liquid electrolyte. In use, the jar was normally charged from an electrostatic generator. The Leiden jar which makes the hair stand up is still used for classroom demonstrations of static electricity. How old is the universe? Recent data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope suggest that the universe may only be 8 billion years old. This contradicts the previous belief the universe was somewhere between 13 billion and 20 billion years old. The earlier figure was derived from the concept that the universe has been expanding at the same rate since its birth at the Big Bang. The rate of expansion is a ratio known as Hubble's constant. It is calculated by dividing the speed at which the galaxy is moving away from Earth by its distance from Earth. By inverting Hubble's constant that is Dividing the distance of a galaxy by its recessional speed the age of the universe can be calculated. The estimates of both the velocity and distance of galaxies from Earth are subject to uncertainties. And not all scientists accept that the universe has always expanded at the same rate. Therefore, many still hold that the age of the universe is open to question. Who was Cleveland Abbey? Cleveland Abbey, 1838 to 1916, nicknamed the father of the Weather Bureau, was appointed director of the Cincinnati Observatory in 1868. The weather bulletin of the Cincinnati Observatory began including a three-day weather forecast on September 22, 1869 prepared by forecaster Cleveland Abbey. 
In January 1871, Abbe was appointed as a civilian assistant in the National Weather Bureau where he continued to prepare weather reports and forecasts. What is the mass of the Earth? The mass of the Earth is estimated to be 6 sextillion, 588 quintillion short tons, 6.6 sextillion short tons. Or 5.97 x 1024 kilograms, with the Earth's mean density being 5.515 times that of water, the standard. This is calculated from using the parameters of an ellipsoid adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1964 and recognized by the International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics in 1967. Does human hair grow faster in summer or winter? During the summertime, the rate of human hair growth increases by about 10% to 15%. This is because warm weather enhances blood circulation to the skin and scalp. Which in turn nourishes hair cells and stimulates growth. In cold weather, when blood is needed to warm internal organs. Circulation to the body surface slows and hair cells grow less quickly. What does it mean when a planet is said to be in opposition? A body in the solar system is in opposition when its longitude differs from the sun by 180 degrees. In that position, it is exactly opposite the sun in the sky and it crosses the meridian at midnight. What are the Jovian and terrestrial planets? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the Jovian. The adjectival form for the word Jupiter, or Jupiter-like, planets. They are giant planets, composed primarily of light elements such as hydrogen and helium. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the terrestrial. Derived from Terra, the Latin word for Earth, or Earth-like, planets. They are small in size, have solid surfaces, and are composed of rocks and iron. Who prepared the first weather map? The first weather map was prepared by Francis Galton, 1822-1911. In 1862, his initial map was prepared by requesting detailed information about the weather in the month of December 1861 from weather stations throughout the British Isles. He plotted the data he collected, drawing the world's first weather map. Who is known as the founder of crystallography?
the French priest and mineralogist René Just Howey, 1743-1822, is called the father of crystallography. In 1781 Howey had a fortunate accident when he dropped a piece of calcite and it broke into small fragments. He noticed that the fragments broke along straight planes that met at constant angles. Howey hypothesized that each crystal was built from successive additions of what is now called a unit cell to form a simple geometric shape with constant angles. An identity or difference in crystalline form implied an identity or difference in chemical composition. This was the beginning of the science of crystallography. By the early 1800s many physicists were experimenting with crystals, in particular. They were fascinated by their ability to bend light and separate it into its component colors. An important member of the emerging field of optical mineralogy was the British scientist David Brewster. 1871-1868, who succeeded in classifying most known crystals according to their optical properties. The work of French chemist Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895, during the mid-1800s became the foundation. For crystal polarimetry a method by which light is polarized, or aligned to a single plane. Pierre Curie and his brother Jacques, 1855-1941 Discovered another phenomenon displayed by certain crystals called piezoelectricity. It is the creation of an electrical potential by squeezing certain crystals. Perhaps the most important application of crystals is in the science of X-ray crystallography. Experiments in this field were first conducted by the German physicist Max von Law, 1879-1960. This work was perfected by William Henry Bragg, 1862-1942, and William Lawrence Bragg, 1890-1971, who were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1915 for their work. The synthesis of penicillin and insulin were made possible by the use of X-ray crystallography. What is the average size of a virus? The smallest viruses are about 17 nanometers in diameter. And the largest viruses are up to 1000 nanometers, 1 micrometer, in length. By comparison, the bacterium Escherichia coli is 2000 nanometers in length. A cell nucleus is 2800 nanometers in diameter and an average eukaryotic cell is 10,000 nanometers in length. When did gasoline stations open? The first service station, or garage, was opened in Bordeaux, France, in December 1895 by a Arl. It provided overnight parking, repair service, and refills of oil and motor spirit. In April 1897 a parking and refueling establishment Brighton Cycle and Motor Co. opened in Brighton, England. The pump that would be used to eventually dispense gasoline was devised by Silenus Bowser of Fort Wayne, Indiana, in September 1885, it originally dispensed kerosene. 
20 years later Bowser manufactured the first self-regulating gasoline pump. In 1912, a standard oil of Louisiana superstation opened in Memphis, Tennessee, featuring 13 pumps. A ladies' restroom, and a maid who served ice water to waiting customers. On December 1, 1913, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Gulf Refining Company opened the first drive-in station as a 24-hour-a-day operation. Only 30 gallons, 114 liters, of gasoline were sold the first day. How are anabolic steroids harmful to those who use them? Anabolic, protein building. Steroids are drugs that mimic the effects of testosterone and other male sex hormones. They can build muscle tissue, strengthen bone, and speed muscle recovery following exercise or injury. They are sometimes prescribed to treat osteoporosis in postmenopausal women and some types of anemia. Some athletes use anabolic steroids to build muscle strength and bulk and to allow a more rigorous training schedule. Weightlifters, field event athletes, and bodybuilders are most likely to use anabolic steroids. The drugs are banned from most organized competitions because of the dangers they pose to health and to prevent an unfair advantage. Adverse effects include hypertension, acne, edema, and damage to the liver, the heart, and adrenal glands. Psychiatric symptoms can include hallucinations, paranoid delusions, and manic episodes. In men, Anabolic steroids can cause infertility, impotence, and premature balding. Women can develop masculine characteristics, such as excessive hair growth. Male pattern balding, disruption of menstruation, and deepening of the voice. Children and adolescents can develop problems in growing bones, leading to short stature. Who was the first African American in space? Guion S. Bluford Jr., 1942, became the first African American to fly in space during the Space Shuttle Challenger. Mission STS-8 August 30th to September 5th, 1983. Astronaut Bluford, who holds a PhD in aerospace engineering, made a second shuttle flight aboard Challenger mission STS-61A Space Lab D1, October 30th to November 6th, 1985. The first black man to fly in space was Cuban cosmonaut Arnaldo Tamayo Mendez who was aboard Soyuz 38 and spent eight days aboard the Soviet space station Salyut. 6 during September 1980. Dr. Macy Jemison became the first African-American woman in space on September 12. 1992 aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour mission Space Lab J. Who discovered the Dance of the Bees?
In 1943, Karl von Frisch, 1886 to 1982, published his study on the dance of the bees. It is a precise pattern of movements performed by returning forager, worker. Honeybees in order to communicate the direction and distance of a food source to the other workers in the hive. The dance is performed on the vertical surface of the hive and two kinds of dances have been recognized. The round dance, performed when food is nearby, and the waggle dance, done when food is farther away. Which elements have the highest and lowest boiling points? Helium has the lowest boiling point of all the elements at minus 452.074 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 268.93 degrees Celsius followed by hydrogen minus 423.16 degrees Fahrenheit minus 252.87 degrees Celsius. According to the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics, the highest boiling point for an element is that of rhenium 10104.8 degrees Fahrenheit 5596 degrees Celsius followed by tungsten 10031 degrees Fahrenheit 5555 degrees Celsius. Other sources record tungsten with the highest boiling point followed by rhenium. How can an observer distinguish planets from stars? In general, planets emit a constant light or shine, whereas stars appear to twinkle. The twinkling effect is caused by the combination of the distance between the stars and Earth and the refractive effect Earth's atmosphere has on a star's light. Planets are relatively closer to Earth than stars and their disk-like shapes average out the twinkling effect. Except when they're observed near Earth's horizon. How much methane fuel does a ton of garbage make? Over a period of 10 to 15 years, a ton of garbage will make 14,126 cubic feet, 400 cubic meters. Of fuel although a landfill site will generate smaller amounts for 50 to 100 years. One ton of garbage can produce more than 100 times its volume in methane over a decade. Landfill operators tend not to maximize methane production. What is the name of the bird that perches on the black rhinoceros's back? The bird, a relative of the starling, is called an oxpecker, a member of the Sternidae family. Found only in Africa, the yellow-billed oxpecker, Bufagus africanus is widespread over much of Western and Central Africa, while the red-billed oxpecker Bufagus erythroincus, lives in Eastern Africa from the Red Sea to Natal. 7 to 8 inches, 17 to 20 centimeters, long with a coffee brown body. The oxpecker feeds on more than 20 species of ticks that live in the height of the black rhinoceros. 
Dicerus bicornis, also called the hook-lipped rhino. The bird spends most of its time on the rhinoceros or on other animals, such as the antelope, zebra, giraffe, or buffalo. The bird has even been known to roost on the body of its host. The relationship between the oxpecker and the rhinoceros is a type of symbiosis. A close association between two organisms in which at least one of them benefits, called mutualism. The rhinoceros relief of its ticks and the bird's feeding clearly demonstrates mutualism. A condition in which both organisms benefit. In addition, the oxpecker, having much better eyesight than the nearsighted rhinoceros, alerts its host with its shrill cries and flight when danger approaches. What is meant by the term strategic minerals? Strategic minerals are minerals essential to national defense the supply of which a country uses but cannot produce itself. A third to a half of the 80 minerals used by industry could be classed as strategic minerals. Wealthy countries, such as the United States, stockpile these minerals to avoid any crippling effect on their economy or military strength if political circumstances were to cut off their supplies. The United States, for instance, stockpiles bauxite, 10.5 million metric dry tons, manganese. 1.7 million metric tons, chromium, 1.4 million metric tons, tin, 59,993 metric tons, cobalt. 189 metric tons, tantalum, 635 tons, palladium, 1.25 million troy ounces, and platinum group metals. Platinum 4,704 kg, palladium 16,715 kg and iridium 784 kg. How long does it take the average spider to weave a complete web? The average orb weaver spider takes 30 to 60 minutes to completely spin its web. These species of spiders, order Araneae, use silk to capture their food in a variety of ways. Ranging from the simple trip wires used by large bird eating spiders to the complicated and beautiful webs spun by orb spiders. Some species produce funnel-shaped webs, and other communities of spiders build communal webs. A completed web features several spokes leading from the initial structure. The number and nature of the spokes depend on the species. The spider replaces any damaged threads by gathering up the thread in front of it and producing a new one behind it. The orb web must be replaced every few days because it loses its stickiness and its ability to entrap food. How much electronic waste is generated in the United States? Electronic waste, e-waste, consisting of TVs and other video equipment. 
computers and assorted peripheral equipment, audio equipment, and cell phones. Accounts for less than 2% of the total municipal solid waste. However, the amount of electronic equipment that is generated is increasing steadily. The National Safety Council study of 1998 estimated that 20 million computers became obsolete. Just seven years later, in 2005, the EPA estimated 26 to 37 million computers became obsolete. More recently, in 2007, the EPA estimated the number of computers that became obsolete had doubled since 1998. Furthermore, the Consumer Electronics Association estimated 304 million. Electronics were removed from U.S. households in 2005. In 2007, approximately 414,000 tons. 375,574 metric tons, of electronics were collected in the United States for recycling. How do bacteria reproduce? Bacteria reproduce asexually, by binary fission A process in which one cell divides into two similar cells. First the circular, bacterial DNA replicates. And then a transverse wall is formed by an ingrowth of both plasma membrane and the cell wall. What is the difference between an invertebrate and a vertebrate? Invertebrates are animals that lack a backbone. Almost all animals, 99%, are invertebrates. Of the more than 1 million identified animals, only 52,000 have a vertebral column, these are referred to as vertebrates. Most biologists believe the millions of species that have yet to be discovered are exclusively invertebrates. Why do tree leaves change color in the fall? The carotenoids, pigments in the photosynthesizing cells, which are responsible for the fall colors, are present in the leaves during the growing season. However, the colors are eclipsed by the green chlorophyll. Toward the end of summer, when the chlorophyll production ceases due to declining daylight and a decrease in temperature, the other colors of the carotenoids, such as yellow, orange, red, or purple, become visible. Listed below are the autumn leaf colors of some common trees. How much does the fetus grow during each month of pregnancy? During the early weeks of development there is great change from embryo to fetus but the overall size of the embryo is very small. As the pregnancy continues, weight gain and overall size become much more significant. Until the 20th week of pregnancy, length measurements are from the crown or top 
of the head to the rump. After the 20th week, the fetus is less curled up, and measurements are from the head to toe. What were the birth defects caused by the drug thalidomide? In the early 1960s, thalidomide was marketed as a sedative and anti-nausea drug. It was found to cause birth defects in babies whose mothers had taken the drug for morning sickness. Some babies were born without arms or legs. Others were born blind or deaf or with heart defects or intestinal abnormalities. Although some were mentally retarded, most were of normal intelligence. This tragedy led to much stricter laws regulating the sale and testing of new drugs. How does a cardiac pacemaker differ from an implantable defibrillator? Both pacemakers and implantable defibrillators are used to treat arrhythmias in the heart rate. A pacemaker monitors the electrical impulses in the heart and delivers electrical pulses as necessary to make the heart beat in a more normal rhythm. What is a heat wave? A heat wave is a period of two days in a row when apparent temperatures on. The National Weather Service heat index exceed 105 degrees Fahrenheit to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius to 43 degrees Celsius. Heat waves can be extremely dangerous. According to the National Weather Service, 175 to 200 Americans die from heat in a normal summer. Between 1936 and 1975, as many as 15,000 Americans died from problems related to heat. In 1980, 1,250 people died during a brutal heat wave in the Midwest. In 1995, more than 500 people died in the city of Chicago from heat related problems. A majority of these individuals were the elderly living in high-rise apartment buildings without proper air conditioning. Large concentrations of buildings, parking lots, and roads create an urban heat island in cities with higher temperatures than the surrounding open, rural areas. What is the greatest amount of rainfall ever measured? The table below summarizes the places that experienced the greatest amount of rainfall and just how much was measured. What is the most dangerous poison produced by a plant? In North America the poisonous hemlock, Conium maculatum, is probably the most dangerous plant. The South American lana tree is another dangerous plant. Native Americans used its sap to make curare, a poisonous substance applied to their arrows and spears. 
it can cause death in a matter of minutes. How do hardwoods differ from softwoods? Hardwood and softwood are terms used commercially to distinguish woods. Hardwoods are the woods of dicots, regardless of how hard or soft they are. While softwoods are the woods of conifers. Many hardwoods come from the tropics. While almost all softwoods come from the forests of the northern temperate zone. Which is the most common type of arthritis? Arthritis, from the Greek arthro, meaning joint, and itis. Meaning inflammation, is a group of diseases that affect synovial joints. Arthritis may originate from an infection, an injury, metabolic problems, or autoimmune disorders. The most common type of arthritis is osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a chronic, degenerative disease most often beginning as part of the aging process. Often referred to as wear and tear arthritis because it is the result of life's everyday activities. It is a degradation of the articular cartilage that protects the bones as they move at a joint site. Osteoarthritis usually affects the larger, weight bearing joints first such as the hips, knees, and lumbar region of the vertebral column. Why are alchemical symbols for metals and astrological symbols for planets identical? The ancient Greeks and Romans knew seven metals and also knew seven planets. The five nearer planets plus the sun and the moon. They related each planet to a specific metal. Alchemy, originating in about the 3rd century BCE. Focused on changing base metals, such as lead, into gold. Although at times alchemy bordered on mysticism, it contains centuries of chemical experience, which provided the foundation for the development of modern chemistry. What is the meaning of the numbers in a blood pressure reading? When blood is forced into the aorta, it exerts a pressure against the walls. This is referred to as blood pressure. The upper number, the systolic, measures the pressure during the period of ventricular contraction. The lower number, the diastolic, measures the pressure when blood is entering the relaxed chambers of the heart. While these numbers can vary due to age, sex, weight, and other factors. The normal blood pressure is around 110-60 to 140-90 mm of mercury. How long does it take for the soft spots on a baby's skull to disappear?
The soft spots of a baby's skull are areas of incompletely ossified bones called fontanelles. The bones of the skull are connected by fibrous, pliable, connective tissue at birth. The flexibility of these connections allows the skull bones to move and overlap as the infant passes through the birth canal. The fontanelles begin to close about two months after birth. The largest of the fontanelles, the frontal fontanelle located on the top of the skull, does not close until 18 to 24 months of age. How are caves formed? Water erosion creates most caves found along coastal areas. Waves crashing against the rock over many years wear away part of the rock forming a cave. Inland caves are also formed by water erosion in particular, groundwater eroding limestone. As the limestone dissolves, underground passageways and caverns are formed. How are CAT or CT scans used to study the human body? CAT or CT scans, computer-assisted tomography or simply computerized tomography, are specialized X-rays that produce cross-sectional images of the body. They are used to study many parts of the body, including the chest, abdomen, and pelvis. Extremities, arms and legs, and internal organs, such as pancreas, liver, gallbladder, and kidneys. CT scans of the head and brain may detect an abnormal mass or growth. Stroke damage, area of bleeding, or blood vessel abnormality. Patients complaining of pain may have a CT scan to determine the source of the pain. Sometimes a CT scan will be used to further investigate an abnormality found on a regular X-ray. Dr. Alan M. Cormack, 1924-1998, and Godfrey N. Hounsfield, 1919-2004. Independently discovered and developed computer-assisted tomography in the early 1970s. They shared the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their research. What is the only four-horned animal in the world? The four-horned antelope, Tetracerus quadricornis, is a native of central India. The males have two short horns, usually 4 inches, 10 centimeters, in length, between their ears. And an even shorter pair, 1 to 2 inches, 2.5 to 5 centimeters, long, between the brow ridges over their eyes. Not all males have four horns. And in some the second pair eventually falls off. The females have no horns at all. What is the rate of species extinction in the tropical rainforests? Biologists estimate that tropical rainforests contain 
approximately one half of Earth's animal and plant species. These forests contain 155,000 of the 250,000 known plant species and innumerable insect and animal species. Nearly 100 species become extinct each day. This is equivalent to 4 species per hour. At the current rates, 5 to 10 percent of the tropical. Rainforest species will become extinct every decade. How can bryophytes be used as bioindicators? Bioindicators are physiological, chemical, or behavioral changes that occur in organisms as a result of changes in the environment. Bryophytes of the genus Hypnum are particularly sensitive to pollutants, especially sulfur dioxide. As a result, most bryophytes are not found in cities and industrial areas. Mosses and liverworts, especially Hypnum cupressiform and Homolaticium sericeum, were used as bioindicators to monitor radioactive fallout from the Chernobyl reactor accident in 1986. What is meningitis? Meningitis is an infection or inflammation of the meninges. Meningitis is most often caused by a bacterial or viral infection. Although certain fungal infections and tumors may also cause meningitis. The usual symptoms and signs of meningitis are sudden fever, severe headache, and a stiff neck. In more severe cases, Neurological symptoms may include nausea and vomiting, confusion and disorientation, drowsiness, sensitivity to bright light, and poor appetite. Early treatment of bacterial meningitis with antibiotics is important to reduce the risk of dying from the disease. What is the most abundant group of organisms? The eubacteria are the most abundant group of organisms on Earth. More living eubacteria inhabit the human mouth than the total number of mammals living on Earth. What state was first to create mandatory deposits on beverage containers? In 1971, the state of Oregon was the first to create legislation mandating deposits on beverage containers. The deposit was 5 cents per container. When was paper recycling started? Paper recycling was actually born in 1690 in the United States when the first paper mill was established by the Rittenhouse family on the banks of Wissahickon Creek, near Philadelphia. The paper at this mill was made from recycled rags.
What are hormones? Hormones are chemical messengers that are secreted by the endocrine glands into the blood. They produce a specific effect on the activity of cells that are remotely located from their point of origin. Hormones are transported via the bloodstream to reach specific cells called target cells in other tissues. Target cells have special receptors on their outer membranes that allow the individual hormones to bind to the cell. The hormones and receptors fit together much like a lock and key. What changes have been made to make windows more efficient? Windows can account for 10% to 25% of a residential heating bill. During the winter months in cold climates, there may be significant heat loss through the windows. Conversely, during the summer and in warm climates, air conditioners must work harder to cool hot air from sunny windows. Until recently, Clear glass was the primary glazing material used in windows. Although glass is durable and allows a high percentage of sunlight to enter buildings, it has very little resistance to heat flow. Glazing technology has changed greatly during the past two decades. There are now several types of advanced glazing systems available to help control heat loss or gain. The advanced glazings include double and triple pane windows with such coatings as low emissivity, low E, spectrally selective, heat absorbing, tinted, reflective, or a combination of these. Windows can also be filled with a gas typically xenon, argon, or krypton, that helps in insulation. What are the general characteristics of a plant? A plant is a multicellular, eukaryotic organism with cellulose-rich cell walls and chloroplasts, which has starch as the primary carbohydrate food reserve. Plants are primarily terrestrial, autotrophic, capable of making their own food. Organisms Most plants contain chlorophylls A and B and xanthophylls, yellow pigments, as well as carotenes, orange pigments. Do both sides of DNA contain genes? One strand of DNA contains the information that codes for genes and it is called the antisense strand or non-coding strand. It is the strand that is transcribed into mRNA and is designated as the template strand. The other, complementary strand is called the coding strand. Because it contains codons, or sense strand. Its sequence is identical to the mRNA strand, except for the substitution of U, uracil, for T, thymine.
What is the importance of the rainforest? Half of all medicines prescribed worldwide are originally derived from wild products, and the U. S. National Cancer Institute has identified more than 2,000. Tropical rainforest plants with the potential to fight cancer. Rubber, timber, gums, resins, and waxes, pesticides, lubricants, nuts and fruits. Flavorings and dyes tufts, steroids, latexes, essential and edible oils. And bamboo are among the products that would be drastically affected by the depletion of the tropical forests. In addition, rainforests greatly influence patterns of rain deposition in tropical areas. Smaller rainforests mean less rain. Large groups of plants, like those found in rainforests, also help control levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. What are some examples of numbers and mathematical concepts in nature? The world can be articulated with numbers and mathematics. Some numbers are especially prominent. The number 6 is ubiquitous, every normal snowflake has 6 sides. Every honeybee colony's combs are 6 sided hexagons. The curved, gradually decreasing chambers of a nautilus shell are propagating. Spirals of the golden section and the Fibonacci sequence of numbers. Pine cones also rely on the Fibonacci sequence. As do many plants and flowers in their seed and stem arrangements. Fractals are evident in shorelines, blood vessels, and mountains. Which you? S states recycle the most per year. There are differences in the amount each state recycles. California recycles the most tonnage per year. Why are the rare gases and rare earth elements called rare? Rare gases refers to the elements helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon. They are rare in that they are gases of very low density, rarefied. At ordinary temperatures and are found only scattered in minute quantities in the atmosphere and in some substances. In addition, rare gases have zero valence and normally will not combine with other elements to make compounds. Rare earth elements are elements numbered 58 through 71 in the periodic table plus yttrium. Why? element 39, and thorium, th, element 90. They are called rare earths because they are difficult to extract from monazite ore, where they occur. The term has nothing to do with scarcity or rarity in nature. What is the scientific method?
the scientific method is the basis of scientific investigation. A scientist will pose a question and formulate a hypothesis. As a potential explanation or answer to the question. The hypothesis will be tested through a series of experiments. The results of the experiments will either prove or disprove the hypothesis. Hypotheses that are consistent with available data are conditionally accepted. How do the costs of various fuels compare? Fuel prices are reported in the units in which they are typically sold, for example, dollars per gallon. However, since the energy content per gallon of each fuel is different, the price paid per unit of energy is often different from the price paid per gallon. The following chart shows the average price per gallon, the average price in gasoline gallon equivalents and the average price in dollars per million BTU as of 2009. Interest in alternative fuels increases when the actual price differential per gallon increases even if the savings is not as great on an energy equivalent basis. Which chemical elements are the most abundant on Earth? Oxygen, O, element 8, is the most abundant element in Earth's crust, waters, and atmosphere. It comprises 49.5% of the total mass of these compounds. Silicon, SI, element 14, is the second most abundant element. Silicon dioxide and silicates make up about 87% of the materials in Earth's crust. What is the female reproductive cycle? The female reproductive cycle is a general term to describe both the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle. As well as the hormonal cycles that regulate them. The ovarian cycle is the monthly series of events that occur in the ovaries related to the maturation of an oocyte. The menstrual cycle is the monthly series of changes that occur in the uterus as it awaits a fertilized ovum. When was the first practical greenhouse built? French botanist Jules Charles constructed one in 1599 in Leiden. Holland, which housed tropical plants grown for medicinal purposes. The most popular plant there was an Indian date called the tamarind, whose fruit was made into a curative drink. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons, 1, sensory neurons, 2, motor neurons, and 3, interneurons, 
also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, and the surface of the skin, into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. They permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. What is mad cow disease and how does it affect humans? Mad cow disease, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSE, is a cattle disease of the central nervous system. First identified in Britain in 1986, BSE is a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. Xe, a disease characterized by the damage caused to the brain tissue. The tissue is pierced with small holes like a sponge. The disease is incurable, untreatable, and fatal. Researchers believe BSE is linked to Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD. In humans through the consumption of contaminated bovine products. CJD is a fatal illness marked by brain tissue deterioration. And progressive degeneration of the central nervous system. How is patient-controlled analgesia, PCA, administered? This is a drug delivery system that dispenses a preset intravenous, 4. Dose of a narcotic analgesic for reduction of pain whenever a patient pushes a switch on an electric cord. The device consists of a computerized pump with a chamber containing a syringe holding up to 60 milliliters of a drug. The patient administers a dose of narcotic when the need for pain relief arises. A lockout interval device automatically inactivates the system if the patient tries to increase the amount of narcotic within a preset time period. What products are made from recycled plastic? A new clothing fiber called Fortral EcoSpun is made from recycled plastic soda bottles. The fiber is knit or woven into garments such as fleece for outerwear or long underwear. The processor estimates that every pound of Fortral Eco spun fiber results in 10 plastic bottles being kept out of landfills. <laughs>